Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking SaaS configuration on the Go High Level platform. If you don't know me, my name is Drew. I'm a Go High Level expert with over four years of experience. I'm going to walk you through everything there is to know about the SaaS configurator so that you can start selling plans of your own. Two notes before we get started and jump into the dashboard. Number one is that the configurator is only available on the pro plan. So if you are not on the pro plan, you will not see this feature within your dashboard. The second one is that we have a free 30 day trial for anyone who's interested. The link is in the description to get started today. Jumping into the dashboard here, you'll want to make sure that you are on the agency level view. That is the only way to see the configurator. Once you're there, you should see the configurator on that menu. It's going to take you into this plans and pricing page. Now your plans and pricing page may not have any plans as of yet. That's totally okay. We're going to walk through how to create your own plans here in a minute. I'm going to show you my plans just as they are. Talk about some of the settings and things that are going on behind the scenes to be able to make all of this happen. Three plans that I have here, standard, professional, and premium. Now you can call them what you want. These are kind of the default plans that Go High Level has. So my standard plan is text conversation, forms, surveys, funnels, some social media integrations, things to be able to get you started. The professional plan, which is the most popular, has almost everything there is to have on the Go High Level platform calendars, memberships, reporting, CRM functionality, in addition to everything that is on that standard plan. And our premium plan adds a little bit of additional support onto all of the features that are available within Go High Level, and that is the difference in price. Those are my plans as they stand. Now you can do monthly and you can do annually. We give a discount for anybody who's willing to pay for a year in advance. You can do the same as well. The advanced settings here, there's just a few, but subscription settings, as you know, uh, agencies are paying on this month to month via Stripe or some type of uh, payment provider. So any of the things that you want to have happen that allow people to upgrade or cancel or if their payment fails, you want to be prepared for some of those scenarios. We have everything set up so that way when a subscription fails they get an email that says hey unfortunately you know you didn't make your payment and so your access is revoked until you are able to get caught up now there are definitely definitely scenarios that hey i don't have it this month i'm waiting on payments to come through stripe or paypal is holding my money hostage which does happen on occasion but ultimately we want to do what's best for the client allowing sub account admins to upgrade or cancel their subscription so that's something that I would highly recommend. Your welcome email here, we don't have one, but that is just because we're a little bit more hands-on. You can ultimately customize this if you would like, so that way when they sign up, they get an email that says, hey, welcome, here's how we do things. If you're setting up an onboarding meeting or if you are just introducing them to the platform, whatever that situation may be. Going back to plans and pricing here, we are going to click on add your plan. These are all of the things that you're going to want to do when you're setting up the different plan names for plan here. I'm going to say gold description, and this is the all in one platform. We'll click next here category. I'm going to put it in default. You can also create your own category if you would like, like I said, you can, create as many plans as you want with as many different features as you want. So if you have some plans that are only social media integration, you have some plans that are only forms, surveys, websites, and funnel, that way they can use that to their advantage. There are some plans that are only automations with workflows and things like that. This is entirely up to you on how you want to set it up and how you want to price it. I'll put it in the default here monthly plans and the annual i'm gonna go 997 just to make things easy and then i'll put it as uh, just under 10,000 here user limit so if you want to charge for you know the number of seats you could go that route as well i don't recommend that just because i think the amount of value that you can provide with giving an agency full access to the dashboard is is amazing 
contact limit here, same thing. I don't limit the number of contacts in here as well. There will be some clients who may want to upload 50 or 100,000 contacts into the system. My recommendation would be against that. This platform specifically is more built for warm communication and more one-to-one -one or one to a small group of communication. So if you're sending out 50 or 100,000 emails at a time, uh, this may not necessarily be the right platform and you may have to use an integration of Klaviyo, SendGrid, something like that in combination with high level to be able to accomplish their goals. We'll click next here. These are all of the different features that are available to you. So I'm pretty much gonna select absolutely everything. The other important feature that I wanna mention is what high level calls it. So what you can do is create a template within your agency that has pre-built workflows, landing pages, communication, email templates, uh, a lot of those things to be able to get that agency off the ground right away or that business off the ground. And that is all done via a snapshot. So if you want to give them absolutely everything and say, hey, we're going to give you a pre-built landing page, pre-built workflows, pre-built forms, pre-built surveys, that is how you do that is via a snapshot. I'm not going to add a snapshot in here for the demonstration purposes, but you can absolutely do that when you're ready. Trial period here, this is whether or not you want to do a trial period. Depending on if you're doing demos or if you're running paid traffic, you can choose to do trial periods or not. I always recommend trial periods just because you don't want people signing up and then canceling three days later because they don't really understand what's going on. If you do a demo with them during that seven day free period, you can set them up a little bit further and hold their hand really until they understand the platform and then they can take care of everything themselves from there. Adding credits while sign up. So credits are essentially how you pay for text, emails, phone calls out of the system. All of that stuff does cost money through a service like Twilio or even the as far up as the carriers. So this is your way to be able to save them a free $5 or $10 in credits every month so that they can send out some text messages or some emails without paying per per text and per email it's like 0 0.005 cents per so it's really not that costly that being said if you are sending a thousand messages a month and ten thousand emails and a thousand phone calls it that can start to run up at the end of the day though that's part of running a business and all of that money that they spend on those phone calls text messages emails is in theory generating them much more revenue in return. It's worth it for them to be able to spend that money. You can add credits if you'd like to. You can give them credits when they first sign up. You can give them credits uh, every month. That is entirely up to you. The other good thing about high level here is that all so of the items that you pay for as a part of using the system. As I said, emails here premium triggers, actions, phone system, email verification. Now, you don't have to do all of these things. Email verification is not a necessity. Content AI is not a necessity. So you can pick and choose what you want to do here. You can also choose to resell them to your clients. So for you, this is going to be your price. So it's, it's a penny per minute, penny and a half per minute when you're making a call from the software. You can decide if you wanna mark that up. So if I wanted to mark it two times, I would be charging the customer this per minute, which essentially means that I would be making a penny and a half per minute for every minute that the client is on the phone. $10, 350 calls, which is a pretty good amount. You're gonna make a penny and a half per minute. Same thing for receiving calls for text messages. Same thing here for emails. So you can decide whether or not you want to upcharge the customer on those things. That is all dependent on whether you're giving them credits every month, whether you're including that into the monthly fee. Those will all be things that you have to think about when determining the type of SaaS configuration that you want to have. That is everything that I have to show you. You would click finish here and then you would have another plan. 
If you have any questions about the SAS configurator, whether that's about the features available or the credits or what price points you should be at, feel free to drop a comment below. We'll make sure to answer any questions that you do have. As always, I want to remind you guys, we do have that free 30-day trial link below in the description for anybody who's interested in Go High Level. I want to thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos.